Back in our index of PHP, if we scroll down and after the opening body tag, if we start with a div with the ID wrapper, inside of this div we start with the paragraph, we create the a tag, href will be just a hash and then class reset, which will be our reset link. And after this paragraph, we start with div with the ID uh, comments. And now inside of the comments div, we start with opening PHP tag if is an empty posts, else we display the message that there are no posts available. So something like P, there are currently no comments. Okay, but if it isn't empty, then obviously you want to loop through it. So opening PHP tag again for each posts as row. Inside of the for each loop, let me scroll up a little bit, div with the class comment. Inside of this div, span with the class name. And inside of the name span, we're going to put posted by, and now echo HTML entities. Inside of the HTML entities, we're going to use strip slashes as well. And we're going to echo row full name. Okay, then semicolon and close PHP tag. And then space on, and then we're going to create the time uh, tag, date time, and it's going to be echo date y hyphen m hyphen d format, then row uh, date, and then semicolon and close the PHP tag. Actually, this one should be string to time, string to time, because we should be passing a time here as a second parameter to the date uh, function, then PHP echo row date formatted then semicolon and closing PHP tag and then closing time tag. After this uh, and after our closing span, we start with the paragraph tag and now echo HTML entities strip slashes slashes and we go for row comment after this semicolon closing uh, PHP tag and after the closing paragraph tag echo object rate button set and now we pass the ID as parameter ID of the record and then closing PHP tag. Now what's happening here is um, that we are using the new method called button set which we haven't created yet and we will create it in the following video. So uh, our index.php file is actually ready, so we can save it and close it. Now we're going to focus on our rate class. So let's move to the next video and create the next, um, the following classes.